August 21st, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Providence of God, in our scripture Psalm 138. I give you thanks, O Lord, with all my heart. I will sing your praises before the gods. I bow before your holy temple as I worship. I praise your name for your unfailing love and faithfulness, for your promises are backed by all the honor of your name. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. The psalmist lets us in on a little key ingredient to our faith. You've got to keep going. I'm not talking about really tough times when you don't know whether you've got it in you to take one more step. In times like that, he carries you. Remember, it's more the times when you just don't feel like taking any steps, that you've got to keep taking those steps. Did you ever just not feel like saying a prayer? Have you ever felt like it was a waste of time to go to another worship service? Has there been a time when you felt too angry to pray? Did you ever feel like it was useless to forgive that guy again? Hear the psalmist again. As soon as I pray, you answer me. You encourage me by giving me strength. Faith isn't spooky. It doesn't require a medium or a fortune teller. And it certainly isn't hiding anywhere. Faith is constantly available. And the problem isn't that God has made it only for the superstars like Moses or Peter or Paul. The problem is, frankly, sometimes we just don't feel like it. And this is the point at which we find that faith. If you have developed a habit of praying, giving, worshiping, helping others, or any other spiritual discipline, there will be times when you don't feel like it. Those are the times to put aside feelings and remember it's a discipline. And the strength God gave you to form that discipline will be the same strength that shows up in that discipline. This is so because of another little key the psalmist let slip. It's not about us or our feelings. God's providence, his care for us, is all resting on the honor of God's holy name. In a discussion with a dear friend, we were talking about this same issue, and I had the thought that many times I don't really want to get up as early as I do. Sometimes, even when I manage to drag my aging carcass out of the bed, stumble to the desk with my first cup of coffee, and begin to read, I do not feel like writing another devotional. Perhaps, just like you sometimes don't feel like reading another devotional. But, when it has become a habit, you do it anyway. And then one of two things happens. First, Somewhere in the process, like the psalmist, you realize that entering that time of prayer or service or devotion, God has encouraged you, replenished your strength or resolve or grown your faith. The technical term is providence. The Lord has provided. The other possibility is you don't feel anything but bored or tired or angry or, well, fill in the blank. And in this case, it isn't that God can't provide what you need. You've bumped into the need for a vacation, or a nap, or a nap on a vacation. You get the idea. Your tank of human strength is run low, and God wants to replenish all of you, not just your spiritual side. He wants your mind, your emotions, your physical being, and the relationships that you have to flourish. And you're not your best self when those feelings begin to control every decision, action, or word that drops from your tired, bored, angry lips. For you today, there are times to take a break, to step back and regain strength or perspective. It's time to let God replenish whatever is running on empty. Don't be afraid of that. It's providential, one of God's promises. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.